May 4th. As David's reign as king comes to a close, he chronicles the various officials who played key roles in his administration. In one of his final acts as king, David calls Israel's leaders together from across the nation and reminds them that his son Solomon has been called by God to succeed him as king. And in the presence of everyone assembled, he gives Solomon a charge. In this charge is the secret to David's success. It is found in chapter 28, verse 9 and 10. And it was the one thing more than any other that if followed would also ensure Solomon's success. You, my son Solomon, know the God of your father and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. For Yahweh searches all hearts and understands all the imaginations of the thoughts. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will cast you off forever. Now, of course, one would expect David to tell Solomon to obey God. But notice he puts a different emphasis on the idea. He said, learn to know God. Worship Him with your whole heart and willing mind. David was saying that one's experience with God is a relationship that requires effort. Solomon would need to be intentional to cultivate his relationship with God. He would have to nurture it and honor it. And if he would, God would honor his efforts and he would reveal himself to Solomon. And that, David knew, would determine Solomon's destiny. It is a powerful truth. Your relationship with God requires effort, and you need to be intentional to cultivate your relationship with God. Nurture it. Honor it. If you will, God will honor your efforts. He will reveal Himself to you, and that will determine your destiny. Here's today's application. What an amazing charge David gave to Solomon. If you could only pass one thing to your children, one treasure, possession, idea, or piece of advice, what would it be? 1 Chronicles 28, verses 9 and 10, would be a wise choice. Consider committing this verse to memory. And if you have children, challenge them to memorize it as well. Now here's today's prayer.